everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have to stay on the quieter side because my mom's asleep right now and it's technically almost Mother's Day, I think. It's almost midnight. I wanted to make this really nice dessert, which is basically a jello cheesecake. I don't know exactly what it's called. I saw it on Instagram like a year ago and I made it for New Year's, so I wanted to make it again. And I'm going to make a few other bre breakfast foods and put them all out on the island in our kitchen. But I'm just going to show this recipe. So if you want to know how to make jello cheesecake, then please keep watching. Okay, so the ingredients you will need for this, you will need sugar, you will need jello. You can obviously use any kind of jello, but obviously I like strawberries because you also need fresh strawberries. You will need um, whipped cream, not the canned kind though, this kind. You will need cream cheese. I'm pretty sure one is enough. You will need butter, and you will need pretzels or breadsticks like this. They Either one works, so up to you. Keep your breadsticks in a Ziploc bag, and what you're going to do is try to break them into very small pieces. Like It, it basically has to become breadcrumbs, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with it. super bad idea because this took such a long time to crush and it was so loud but it should look like this after you crush all of them and get the breadcrumbs and then we're going to melt this butter now and then mix it all together mix in the melted butter with the breadcrumbs until it's all nice and moist Just make a nice even layer. Now put this in the oven at 400 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, so mix one pack of cream cheese with one whole cup of sugar. And I could obviously be using a machine to whisk this, but I didn't want to get it out, I'm too lazy, and it would be really loud, so I'm just doing it by hand. Get in an arm workout. Okay, so I just took the bread comes out and I'm letting it cool down. So in the meantime, I'm going to chop the strawberries and we have to make them really small because we're gonna mix it in with the jello and then that's gonna be our top layer. Now that the breadcrumb layer has cooled, um, it was in the freezer actually, I just thought that would be faster, so I took it out and now we're going to add the layer of cream cheese, sugar, and whipped cream. Now that this layer is all done, put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes to cool, and then we'll finish it off with the jello topping. So I'll show you how to make that right now. Okay, so I bought the eight and a half cup servings of jello, and for this you have to stir it with two cups of hot water and two cups of cold water. I really don't think I need this much for this dessert. Well, I'm always just gonna make it with, with this, and then with the excess I can just put that in the fridge and have some more jello. Add one more cup of hot water. Now mix in two cups of cold water. Okay. 
Okay, so now for the last layer, just pour this slowly onto the cream cheese. And then put this in the fridge until you're ready to serve it. Okay, so the jello has to sit in the fridge for a while until it hardens. And I'll take a video of the island after I set up everything for my mom. And yeah, so this is the video. I hope you learned how to make jello cheesecake and something similar to jello cheesecake. Obviously, it's not actual cheesecake. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.